Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on February the 23rd, 2018. The title of the message is The Unveiling of the Hidden Things And the Lord Jesus began My word is clear. I am exposing the hidden things. I am removing the veil from before your eyes. If you are attentive, you will realize that there have been many discoveries made during the current generation. Things that were hidden, buried, concealed, have been revealed. Knowledge that had been lost for millennia is once again being discovered, both good and bad. For when I said in my word that knowledge would increase during this end time season, I did not just mean good knowledge, but also the wicked knowledge that had been lost to the ages. I deliberately allowed this knowledge to be suppressed until the time of the end, for the previous generation would not have borne the trials and tribulations that this generation will bear. Please note that I am speaking here specifically of my church. There had to be a period for world evangelism to take place, for the word to be planted in many hearts throughout the world. All the prophecies about Israel before the revelation of the Antichrist had to be fulfilled. Therefore, much of what is being discovered now was suppressed until the opportune time. Unfortunately, this is the most significant generation in both the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. My children will walk in great power and authority, and Satan's agents will also walk in his dark power and authority. But fear not, little children, for your victory was ordained before the foundation of the world was laid. Yes, evil will be beside itself with wicked glee. For Satan has been apportioned a time to rule this world, and during this time, there will be a great sifting. Yes, there will be a division, a separation. The wheat will be separated from the tares. The wheat will be gathered into my barns, but the tares will be stacked up high to be burnt in the valley of Echo. Yes, my word will be fulfilled. There will be much bloodshed, much despair, much sorrow. But he who remains faithful to me to the very end will be saved. You have not been slaughtered for destruction, my beloved. No, to you is given the kingdom of heaven as an inheritance for the righteous. You will not know pain, sorrow, old age, disease, or death. Rejoice and be very glad, for my father is pleased to bless his children abundantly. And you are in his hands, and none can snatch you away from him. Do not despair, for the things that will come upon the earth will be grievous, yes, but to you they are a herald of my soon return for my bride, for I will not abandon her in the middle of the overthrow. Just remember that no matter the cost, remain faithful to the very end. I am waiting to receive you to myself, but in the meantime, do not give up your crown over which you have labored much. Stay in the field and complete your work. And when the master of the field returns, he will be pleased and he will reward you with the riches of his bosom. You are the chosen ones, the ones called to walk in righteousness. No one can remove your candlestick, for your foundation is me, and upon me you have stood sturdy, and will continue to stand sturdy, never wavering to the left or to the right. Be encouraged, children, and when evil overtakes the land, remember, you are children of the light and darkness cannot overtake you. Children, it is here. The time of the invasion of darkness is here, and I am preparing you beforehand, so that when it takes place, you will not be surprised. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Walk as kings and queens, children of the Most High God, and trample the serpent underfoot. You shall prevail, you shall overcome, you shall be lifted up, and your heel shall not be bruised. I am the bright and morning star. I will lead you to your place of rest. Sila. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.